and home buyers all over. So it was it was part of a bubble mentality, and that bubble mentality got incorporated into into models used by not only rating agencies but others. But when you have ratings agencies that go from an A or a, a, a double A rating overnight to a D, I mean that shows that there's a huge problem with the, the system that's been set there up. There was a huge flaw in the model. It was a, basically the American public had a model that where they didn't think house prices could could crash and and a very 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 big bubble probably the biggest i've ever seen popped uh... and when it popped uh, a's became d's and so on it, uh, but that makes it sound like you think it's a problem not with the rating agencies models but with everyone's model that was looking at this there, there are a lot of questions now about whether there's an inherent conflict of interest just with the ratings agencies models themselves yeah, no I, I i think everybody's model i mean if you if, who knew more about mortgages than Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae? I mean, they were guaranteeing 40% of all the mortgages in the United States. They had data on millions and millions and millions of mortgages, borrowers, mortgage brokers, everybody else. And uh, in March 30th of 2007, in a report to Congress that was prepared by Ofeo, who oversaw them, they said that the that their quality was good. You know, it, we we participated in a huge bubble. That is. That doesn't necessarily excuse the rating agencies, yeah, but, it, but, it, 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 but it, 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 it means that they were not in ca they were incapable of thinking uh, at great variance with how almost everybody thought. But is there a better model for rating agencies overall? Right now, you have the companies that are are being judged paying the bill, and they get right, to shop I'm, around. I'm paying a big bill at Berkshire. Well, and, and you get to shop around and, no, and no, go I to different. The, I don't get to shop around. That's the I. I Standard and Poor's and Moody's are, are, are the are totally the benchmarks for Berkshire. I would love to shop around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Believe me, I have no pricing, no, no negotiating power with either Standard and Poor's or Moody's. And Best is a specialist in the insurance field too. Mm -hmm. But believe me, if somebody came and offered me ratings at half the price of Standard and Poor's or Moody's, I would love to do it. But I can't do it. Uh, the, the market demands that I be rated by Standard and Poor's and Moody's. The market demands it because of the government uh, laws that are set up requiring. They, it, it demands it for, for a couple of reasons. One is Moody's and Standard and Poor's were there first. They've been around forever. They got enshrined into various regulatory uh, 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 regulations. I mean, I, it, as a life, in, we have a life insurance company. It tells us what we can do in terms of triple B or in terms of A and all of that sort of thing. So state after state has regulations relating to insurance companies that ties in with the rating agencies, and the agencies are specified. And so I can't go to the XYZ rating agency and say, will you do this for half the price and have it accepted by anybody. Do you think, though, that there's an inherent flaw? Just back to the question, is there a problem with the business model right now for the ratings agencies? Would it be better if there were other competitors who could get in? Well, there are other competitors, but they Again. and, and uh, that's just there. But but let's just say you start a rating agency, right. you know, and, and you say come around and say I'll do it for half the price. I love that. The only trouble is it won't do me any good. <laughs> but is there a way to change the system? I think what the commission's going to be getting at today is what changes need to be made to this well, particular could, business model. They they could say any one of ten rating agencies was acceptable, and the the problem is there's a there's a really nuanced point in this because. If you have 10 rating agencies out there, and I can choose among them, mm -hmm. I'm going to choose for one of two reasons, maybe both, price and laxity. I mean, in a sense, the having a monopoly or a duopoly arrangement means that the rating agencies can be independent of the people. They, they, it's, it's the same problem, you know, basically as with newspapers. If you have 10 newspapers in a town and they're getting their revenue from the local department stores and grocery stores and so on, they are likely to be less independent than if there's only one newspaper because that newspaper can thumb their nose and the department store still has to buy ads in the paper. Right. There are, are two proposals in Congress that have gotten a lot of play. One is from, Senator, is from Congressman Barney Frank, who takes a look at uh, this idea that, look, we're just not going to give them the government mandate for them to be required anymore. So that will therefore create a lot of competition in the marketplace. The other is from Senator Al Franken, who says, we'll set up a government oversight board that tells you where you're going to vote to get your ratings. Mm -hmm. Do either of those models make sense? Well, I'd have to see more details. I, mean, I, I, I think that the market will continue to demand from the brand names. I mean, I, I wish it weren't the case. I mean, when the rating agency comes to rate Berkshire, they have me by the throat. You know, mm -hmm. if they say that it's going to cost me a million dollars, and I say, you know, why can't you do this for 900000 I have I have no leverage whatsoever. So uh, if there were 10 agencies, and I could say I'd like the cheapest, 
people will say, well, you took the cheapest, but they, they gave you, you know, they didn't do the work or something of the sort. So it's, it's, it's not an easy answer. So there's not necessarily a clear solution that cuts out any sort of conflict of interest along the way? No. Our, our solution as a buyer of securities is we don't use rating agencies. I mean, I, I don't think, and I, don't, I doubt if PIMCO does, for example, or BlackRock. I mean, our, our, our job is to rate credit ourselves. We do not outsource that to rating agencies. The world does, and it has all the...